you doing? Did you come to watch me again? So, been doing some research. I'm not getting the views that I want to get. And I've kind of hit a, a proverbial wall, per se. Anyway, so I've been doing some research, and everything I research says that, one, my humor just isn't up to par, and, well, I'm not going to change that, because I'm perfect in every fucking way, right? Anyway, so basically, from my research, it says that maybe, maybe my videos are too broad. And, you know, working on the truck stuff and then working on the bike stuff. I need to, need to figure out what I want to do and stick with it. So I'm sitting there thinking, do I do two channels? You know, one to work on my truck stuff and then the tractor stuff and then the bike stuff. And I, I really wanted to, I really wanted to bring variety. You know, just because I wanted to share with you guys who I am. And that's who I am. I do trucks. I do bikes. I talk to my dogs like they're people. Uh, I pee in my driveway. You know, that's just who I am. I'm fat. I got a great beard. And uh, I drink Schoenerbach beer. And I like to travel all over the United States on my motorcycle. But anyway, and I say that a lot. I noticed that. I was watching some of my videos, and I say, but anyway, maybe I'll start saying, and furthermore, no, nah, I won't do that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I really want to do a second channel, or if I say, fuck it, I'm just going to do me, and if I don't get the views, or whatever then you know what I'm, I'm doing it for me I'm enjoying these I, I enjoy making these videos it uh, I don't know if you notice it's not like there's a whole bunch of people hanging out here I got gizmo he's over there on the floor I don't know if you can see him if I move there he is can I move it enough there's my partner in crime right there Anyway, so I got Gizmo and Dexter, but I don't really have people that hang out. Every now and then you'll catch a glimpse of Sam. It's a female friend of mine. She's a pain in the ass and she works at Lowe's. But really, no one ever hangs out, so I'm a dick. And I don't like people at my house. But, uh, so I guess having you guys is just giving me somebody to talk to. Um, while I do this stuff, because in this town, everybody just wants to hang out at the bar, and I'm not that guy, and nobody wakes up until noon, one o'clock. I'm up at fucking four o'clock every day, well, every weekend, I'm up at like two thirty, three o'clock during the week. So I like to get up early, get things done, enjoy the daylight. But, so I'll let you know on that. I might do a second channel, but that's just a lot to handle. It's a lot to handle this channel. Because I do so much and then I'm like, fuck, I should have recorded that. But anyway. In today's video, I am going to, let's spin you over here. I'm going to clean up all this bullshit that, yes, it looks good on the bike. It's a nice feature, but I don't want it. I'm trying to clean the bike up and get rid of just unnecessary things. My goal is to mount turn signals up on the ape hangers that I'm going to install. I'm doing black apes with black controls, black mirrors. And I'm not going with those little tiny dumbass, little tiny dumbass mirrors. I'm, I like to see, so I'm going to go with something similar to stock. I may even keep my stock mirrors to save on money and just 
uh, Plasti Dip or yeah, probably Plasti Dip in black. Uh, Plasti Dip, I found, I used it on a set of speakers on a Slim that I used to have. And, um, hell, those speakers were on the handlebars and they took a beating from rocks and bugs and rain. They were great. I put like five coats of black Plasti Dip that I bought at AutoZone. Worked great. So I might Plasti Dip the mirrors. We'll see. It's easy to use, fun to work with. Um, so I'll probably go with stock mirrors. I'm going to flip them upside down on the bars. Unless I can find an inexpensive set of mirrors with a turn signal in them. I think that would be cool if there was like a small... It's always hard to position my hands for the camera. Like a small LED strip. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway, I think that would be cool as shit. I haven't even looked for these yet. They, they may sell them at Walmart and I don't even know. I doubt it. But... So, I'll look for that, but uh, today, I'm yawning again. What is it with you guys making me yawn? Somebody watching this, or oh, somebody in the future who's going to watch it, is yawning, and I'm picking up because they're contagious. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about. Hold on, Gizmo wants to say hi. Come here, Giz. Say hi. Alright, oh god, now Dexter's coming. Oh shit. Everybody say hi to Gizmo and Dexter's over here. You can't really see him. Alright, alright, you guys go. So talking to my t-shirt guy today, he sends me a text. He said the swine flu and the coronavirus and the Bud Light virus and he had sent me he had sent me some things on my shirts. And I love the design he's he's come up with. You know, working together is great. I like working with a company that we can discuss things. We're texting back and forth. Uh, I'll ride out to his place. But so, today is Sunday, two days after Valentine's Day. He messages me at like 8 o'clock this morning, and he's all apologetic. And he says, hey, man, <laughs> I'm sorry that I haven't gotten back with you on your design. I knew I said I'd get right on it. But now that I'm over the flu... <laughs> I've contracted pink eye in both eyes. And I'm sitting there, my fucked up mind, and I'm like, pink eye in both eyes. Pink eye comes from shit. So I messaged him and I said, what kind of kinky ass shit did you and your old lady do on Valentine's Day that you contracted pink eye in both eyes? Needless to say, he just sent me an LOL and said I wish that hit the spot this is not a commercial for Monster I should probably cover this shit up because those motherfuckers aren't sending me any checks but whatever anyway I said it again so I'm getting ready to take off the lights and Let's see here. You see this chrome bracket? Alright. Chrome bracket here and here. It's all one piece, it's on the forks. What it appears to be is a dress up piece that the it mounts like a windshield bracket. I don't know. We're I'm finding out the same as you are. I'm sure some of you that watch this already know. This is a learning process for me. I'm used to working on Harleys. But, as you can see, I don't mind working on these bikes. It's a great motorcycle. So, what I need is a 5 and a 6 millimeter Allen socket. The 6 goes on the top one, 5 goes on the bottom. So, the mounting points are here. There's one under here there I don't know if you can see this probably not there's a cross bracket that runs under the headlight that supports these I don't want those daytime running lights I thought they might be cool mounted somewhere else like down lower on the forks or back here on the highway bars crash bars whatever you want to call them I don't know we'll see for now they're coming off I don't want them on here I want to clean this whole front end up 
So that's what we're going to do. So, after removing the top cover, which is four Allens, there's a screw in the top here and one on each side. Once you take that off, the headlight, you gotta finagle a little bit, slides right out. So, I'm going to unplug these. get it out of my way set it up here and now I'll bring you so you can see inside as you can see there's lots of things going on I need to trace my wires down for my running lights and should be plug and play I should be able to unplug them pull them out I'm gonna put some tape over the plugs to kind of keep things from getting inside of there in case the new owner wants to install these back on I'm going to clean them all up box them make sure they're in really good shape so let's get it going <laughs>
So that was a pain in the ass. There's a lot of wires. I don't know what I was thinking it was going to be. I guess I'm pulling off little rubber pieces. Yeah, put those over here, store them away. Um, now, now I've, you're really close. Getting really close to me. Anyway, now, can you see the holes? I have to find something to fill these in. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. So, hmm, it's a very good question. I do like the way the front end's cleaned up now, though. A lot nicer. I can't wait to attack that back fender. But, anyhow. I'm going to put some bolts back in here. These ones. I'm going to screw them back in to fill. You can come over here with me. I don't want to leave a big gaping hole here. And I can paint it black afterwards. <laughs> so why they're not fitting? Aha! Uh -huh. Put them in the wrong spot. Why didn't you tell me? I blame you and Donald Trump for his racist rhetoric. You like that? Everybody else blames him. Why can't I? So. Son of a bitch. Apparently it doesn't want to go in there. This isn't going to work. So we're going to back away from that. I'm going to have to get some bolts that I can put in these holes to fill them because I'm not going to leave them empty. I'm sure they serve a purpose of some sort. So, I'm going to go for a ride. I'm wearing shorts too. People look at me like I'm retarded. I'm that fucking guy. When it's 16 degrees outside, I'm thinking, well, I'm just running to the store. And I end up running errands all fucking day in shorts, freezing my ass off. I'm still fucking cold. I'm just the idiot that left with no clothes on. So let's, uh, let's go get what we need. Fuck it. Come with me. So it's going to be a little shaky. Let's see if you can ride with me. I need to get bolts for to replace where those brackets were. Oh, that's gonna be very shaky. I need to get bolts for where the brackets were for the windshield, those chrome brackets that I took off. So I'm gonna get those bolts need to get shorter ones because the ones that came out because there were spacers to take that chrome off of the paint so they're really long so I need to go with a little bit shorter sorry about the shakiness it says well, that's driving me crazy so man I say so a lot I'm just figuring this out it's gonna be real bumpy here um yeah so let's see what I can find I need to go with shorter ones to fill those holes. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't find blackheads. If not, I picked up some paint yesterday at Tractor Supply, and we'll go from there.
freight. There's hundreds of thousands of things you don't need in this store. But I did find some sockets. I'm going to try the hex caps. I can't find the rubber plugs that I need. So I'm shooting for some... Uh, I'm going to try to get these hex caps to screw in. They're already black. I won't have to paint them. Might work. Let's see. I can't find anything. I'm actually thinking about organizing some sockets with these socket trays. So, we'll see. Now let's get back to the shop. Try to get something done. I've wasted like three hours riding around looking for these little rubber hole fills. What am I going to do? We're back. Alright, so I grabbed... I don't know if you can see this. Can you read that? It's an M8 by 1.25 by 20 millimeter. It's the shortest one I could get in length. But it's the same thread pitch as the stock hardware I pulled out. The problem is the stock hardware is way too long because it had to make up for spacers. So, my plan is to use the washers. And replace the old hardware with new hardware. That's the wrong size. It's probably the right size here. Beautiful. Perfect fit. So, I'm able to fill holes. The great thing is, these are already black. Now the washers, those are silver, but they're stainless. So I don't mind the little bit of offset with the color. I think it kind of adds some flair. We'll say flair to the situation. I love this thing. Best $330,000 I ever spent at Matco. <laughs> so, da -da -da. Let's see. Definitely like the look. You want to come with me? Definitely like the uh, the clean look without the time signals up here and the um, running lights. Now, yes, more light is better, but I like the look. I think it's cleaner. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like the the look of these. Um, they're called socket cap screws. I like the look of these. It's kind of industrial looking. I like that. I like that a lot. So I picked these up, as you already know. So these are called hex cap. I'm gonna see if these will fit. Let's go back over here. These holes. Basically, I'm going to see what fits. And I've got to go back to Home Depot because I grabbed the wrong water filter from my refrigerator. I had the right one. And I let the dumbass woman that works there convince me to buy a value pack. And she said, this is the one you need right here. And I grabbed it. The wrong one. I didn't look. Took her word for it because that's what she does for a living. Works in that section. So.
So, if I learned anything today, it was... Read the fucking label before you leave with it. Now, I have to drive back up to Home Depot. But it's not such a bad thing because it's 50 degrees outside. And this motherfucker is going to take the motorcycle. I'm going to fire Big Red up. Last time I went to take Big Red out, battery was dead. It's been two years on a stock battery. Probably almost time. Unless I hate to admit it. And uh, there'll definitely be a video on that installation. Never done one on that bike. So I know where it is because I've jump started it. But I've never actually done the install. So, here, yeah, come with me over here. Oh, that's nice. That actually screws in. I just have to make sure that it doesn't hit. To make sure it doesn't hit my headlights. So that's the look. Here, I'm going to zoom in for you. I don't know that I like it. Let's, uh, let's come a little bit closer. That's what would fill that hole. This is the hole. Yeah, I unscrew this one. That one slides right out. That's the hole, three holes, that I'm trying to fill. Hmm. I don't know. I might try to do something creative with a piece of metal. So I cut two pieces of metal and it fits perfectly over it. Hmm. I've been on a motorcycle ride. I've been to Home Depot twice. <laughs> and I really haven't come up with anything to cover the holes. Holes. Other than duct tape. I'm going to do duct tape for now. I picked up something. What did I do with it? Still on the motorcycle. Um, I picked up some more of these things, short ones, uh, 10 millimeter, to fit the big hole in the center. I was thinking about cutting a piece of sheet metal that I have left over from the F350 OBS. I had to repair the door. The door rips where the handle is uh, inside under the door panel. I had repaired that. I made a plate for that. Um, so I've got some sheet metal left. I was thinking about shaping a piece of sheet metal real nice, painting it, putting it on there, and using the 10 millimeter in the center to pull it. And I might still do that and leave the duct tape underneath as like a padding so it's not metal on metal and rubbing. Um, who knows? We'll see. So I'm going to take you guys around here. We're going to stare at me apparently so this is the front end cleaned up without all the bullshit on it no running lights and no turn signals like I said planning on doing some tall apes uh, probably plasti dip those mirrors flip them upside down on the apes unless I can find mirrors that have turn signals in them so that's the plan so thanks for tuning in that's going to be all for this video. Um, part two of this video will be the removal of all the tail light stuff. So I want to get rid of this 
and trim this fender down. I'd like to cut the fender roughly here and get rid of this tail that it's got and give it more of a a bobber look and just get rid of all this. I will say Yamaha makes, makes an amazing bike. Man, their lights are ugly. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get entered to win. And I'll see you guys next time.